Hey, I put the television on and I went to what's called the Christian Channel here in my local town and there was a Bill Gaither special on and the guest on the Bill Gaither show was Stephen Curtis Chapman. Now, I actually was trying to do a video about Bill Gaither and try to expose him as a her and also as someone who may transition between uh, traditional church hymns and now contemporary rock based type music. So actually I was focusing on Bill Gaith her but I looked at Stephen Curtis Chapman and I said that's David Letterman! <laughs> And lo and behold, here I am showing you the evidence. On the left is a younger Stephen Curtis Chapman. On the right is David Letterman. 84% match. Now that's the highest match. I have some other ones I can show you. On the left, Stephen Curtis Chapman. On the right, David Letterman. Another one. That's a 78 percent. On the left, Stephen Curtis Chapman. On the right, David Letterman. So I've got three different uh, photo comparisons and you'll see that the match level is extremely high. Now I picked him out almost immediately on the Bill Gaither show and I thought by gollies that's David Letterman. <laughs> so even what is called contemporary Christian music is under the control of the controllers because they want all the wealth not just the secular wealth but the so-called Christian wealth and if you want you can go to my other video where I will show you just sitting back watching the television uh, on the Christian Channel and making that discovery that Stephen Curtis Chapman is actually David Letterman. Now notice that that man at the end of their name, that's interesting too by the way, that both their names end in man. Um, how do they do all this? I'm not entirely sure. David Letterman might actually be a man who is musical and can do some music. <clears throat> um, the individual does not have to be a composer. The composition of songs is done by a team unknown to the world. So for example if you go back to like uh, the Beatles and you say look at all those songs they produced, not really. They were, they were created by a team and the Beatles just went out as the puppets performing them. Incidentally, there were probably about four different John Lennons, maybe five. So why do they do this? There you see the highest match I've got, the 84% match. Why do they do this? The answer is simple. They want all the money. They're not content to leave the Christian scene alone. They dominate the Christian scene as well. And I'm going to show you in another video a hoax that was performed by David Curtis Chapman alias David Letterman that will clearly show to you that it's all a fraud. 
So for right now, let this declaration be Stephen Curtis Chapman is actually David Letterman. And I'm going to stop right there and say, you can go to the one whose identity is absolutely true, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, in case you're not aware, Stephen Curtis Chapman has the highest number of awards in the contemporary Christian music scene, and he also um, has produced like 25 different albums, and the total number of sales is like 12 million. So he's a big producer of money. And remember, the love of the money is the root of all evil. So it's not hard to believe that David Letterman actually plays Stephen Curtis Chapman, or Chapman. Contemporary Christian artist with the highest number of awards ever. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And you can consult my other two videos I'm going to put up that will show you a scandal with David with St Stephen Curtis Chapman. And then I'll also show you that video where I was uh, recording off the television and just made this discovery by eyesight. And then I tested it in the pick Tri-Iv. Thank you for watching.